Hello, in this short video I would like to show you my solution to very often problem which arise with these uh, modern laser engravers. The laser is very close and uh, it is very hard to see through the small glass the exact position of the laser during the boundary check in laser JBL or during the framing in the library. The method is based on the toothpick which I will glue to the side and the framing can be done on that toothpick and then with a small macro or g-code with the custom button we can move the laser module and then the laser will be exactly on that spot where the toothpick was and the engraving will be positioned correctly. For this I will need this uh, toothpick and also some stick tape and I will present everything on this uh, WizMaker 36 watt diode laser and on the left side I already have this channel for the air assist uh, so I will place this on the other side. But in this case I need a little bit shorter one so I will just cut it. And now I will engrave just a horizontal line so I can place this toothpick exactly on the position where I don't have any offset in y direction. The stick is prepared, now for the next step I have to find out what is the offset in x direction. The toothpick is exactly above this point and now I'll engrave just a vertical line. But in my case the offset is 33 mm. In laser JBL I will create a custom button and let me explain you these two lines. So this line moves the module to the right 33 mm. If your toothpick is on the other side, in that case you have to enter here the minus value for the X. And uh, this line actually just tells to the laser module that new position is also the new origin. And now let me show you the method. I want to engrave a square exactly around this circle. I'm during the boundary check using the toothpick and if the position is correct then I can click this new custom button and now I can start the engraving. In Liburn instead of the custom buttons I will create a macro and these are those same two lines I explained previously in laser JBL. In the Liburn the method is very similar. framing for the toothpick and if the position is correct then I can click this uh, new macro and now I can start the engraving. Now the precision and accuracy of this method is how accurate you can you do the boundary check or the framing on this toothpick. It needs some practicing but in that case uh, you can get the accuracy below 1 mm. Final thoughts, well definitely for me this method works, I'm using it very often on the different laser engravers. Disadvantages, but well, depend of your focusing method, sometimes this toothpick may be in the way, so don't go too lower below that frame, maybe maximum 1 mm or something like that. And don't forget with this you are reducing your maximal X coordinate by this X offset. Of course there are more modern methods for this positioning, like using the camera I presented it a few months ago, but this is very cheap and simple solutions you can use with your engraver. Also already saw methods where they are using just a regular uh, red laser for this positioning, but that is adding more weight to the laser module. If you have some better solutions, you know, free lines in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy and safe engraving.